Take a good look at these woods and see if you can find me with my camouflage on. I'm also hiding in this patch of woods, and I'm a little harder to see here. Now here's the same scene side by side with thermal imaging, and you can see how much of a difference it makes. Even with good camouflage, it doesn't hide my body heat. Matching your camouflage to your environment helps you blend in, making it very difficult to be seen. But it's useless against a thermal imaging device, or at least most normal camouflage is. So it's very difficult to hide from thermal imaging, but not impossible, like we're about to find out. All the thermal imaging that you'll see in this video will be taken using this. This is a rifle scope. It's called the Leap L6R by Rick's Optics. And it's mainly used for hog hunting and predator hunting. It's better to hunt them at night when they're most active, normally. And thermal optics allow you to see really well in the dark. Everything has different temperature variations. And those temperature differences among different objects are converted into an image that we can see. So anything that gives off body heat, especially, is going to stand out really well against the background. And it's a 640 resolution scope, which is pretty high, so it's going to show a lot of detail, even at long ranges. So our goals in this video are to test out the scope, and also to see if we can come up with an effective camouflage to be able to disappear from thermal imaging devices, and also be camouflaged when not looking through the thermal. And it won't be easy. My friend Doug is here to help me out. Doug's gonna hide in the grass here, get nice and camouflaged in there with his camo on. Visibility's a little low. We also wanted to test out the thermal in some really rough weather conditions. And tonight is the perfect night for that. It's really cold, really windy, and snowy. Where are you? With just a flashlight, there's not a chance that I can see him in there. Oh, there he is. So he's gonna stay in the same exact spot, but we're gonna try to find him in the thermal. So we're scanning the general area where he's hiding in the grass, looking for a heat signature, and we'll see if the thick grass hides him at all. And there he is. Even with all the blowing snow and tall grass around him, the thermal cuts right through it with no problem. Even with night vision, I wouldn't be able to see him in there, most likely, other than maybe his eyes glowing. Just to give you an idea, comparing the two, this is night vision that Doug is hiding from in similar tall grass. As long as his eyes are closed, it's pretty easy for him to stay hidden, even without much camouflage. But back to the thermal. I'm just cycling through the different color modes, and he stands out pretty good in each one. So our normal camouflage is doing a great job. Now we just need something to combine it with that'll mask our body heat. Let me pile some more grass on you, make you a little warmer. It is brutal out here. It's a nice little survival shelter too. Get a ton of grass, make a little burrow inside of it. Just laying right there, this little bit was already blocking a good amount of the wind. Makes good insulation. So now we're going to test different materials out to see what we can use to block our body heat. And it's a little challenging in these high winds, to say the least, but this will just make our tests more realistic. I've heard that an umbrella might work, and at first it seemed like it would. And it did a little bit, but as I was crouching down behind it, some of my body heat was able to show through. And right now the scope is 149 yards away from me, which is pretty far. I also tested this out at a closer distance on a calmer night and had pretty much the same result. You can also see the outline of the umbrella really well too. So I figured I'd try a different umbrella to see if there was any difference. Pretty much had the same effect. Alright, now we're going to try the blue poly tarp. This is a cheap polyethylene tarp that you can get at hardware stores. And it does pretty much nothing at all to block my body heat. Doesn't seem to matter whether I'm touching it or even if I have an air gap in between me and the tarp. Either way, you can see right through it. Next up is the cheap survival space plank. This is one of the best things we've tested out. There's a lot of downsides to it though. It's very noisy for one. It also rips easily and it doesn't hold up good at all in the wind. And it's very shiny, so it doesn't blend in too well when not looking through the scope. Although it does do a good job of blocking my body heat. Next we're going to try the more heavy duty survival blanket. It's more like a tarp. It's much more durable than the cheaper ones. It's much quieter too. It also does a great job of blocking heat, but the tarp itself stands out against the background. For it to work well, 
I need to keep space in between myself and the tarp so my body heat doesn't conduct into it, which is what's happening on the spots of the blanket where I'm holding it. All right, so next up we have a nylon tarp. It has worked well in the past, so we're gonna try it again tonight. It's just not working too well in this wind. It's in contact with my body, so the heat is just conducting right through. So when he pushes it out like that, yes, his hands is what's making it bleed through, but his body was no longer close enough to it for it to bleed through. And it could theoretically work, as long as you don't get too close to it for your temperature to bleed through. Another thing I wanted to test out was Christmas wrapping paper which worked surprisingly well, or at least the thicker, glossy paper. But this would definitely not hold up in the wind or rain. But it was still a cool experiment. Now we're gonna see how well the scope can see at a long distance. So we came to the biggest field we could find, and Doug's gonna walk way out there. And the rangefinder on the scope says he's a little over 500 yards away. And I can still see him with no problem, even with all the snow. He's about 560 yards away now, and that's a hand warmer he's throwing in the air. So, you can still be spotted fairly easily from hundreds of yards away. So what I decided to do was to combine the camo umbrella with the cheap space blanket. It'll give me camouflage and normal view, while also hiding my body heat from the thermal. It's also quickly deployable. Sometimes I use it as a quick hunting blind. The space blanket makes it noisy though, so still a downside. In the normal view, even with snow on the ground, there's enough brown from the trees and undergrowth for it to blend in fairly well. And it's blocking my body heat a lot better than it did without the space blanket. And you can always use natural materials to help blend in better. I also have this camouflage cloth that's lighter in color. I'll drape it over top of the umbrella, then pile some snow on it. And just that little bit helped it blend in a lot better. And if you didn't know I was already there, it'd be really hard to see me. Even through the thermal, it's doing a great job. Now we'll test this out at night in some really heavy snow and through night vision. And you can see how much more of an effect the snow has on the night vision than it does in the thermal. You can see the outline of the umbrella in the night vision, but the camera is about 20 feet in front of me and the thermal scope is about 50 yards in front of me. So if they were at the same distance, the night vision would not be able to see me this well, if at all. So, the umbrella combined with the space blanket seems to work great. But I wasn't completely satisfied. So now we're going to combine the more heavy-duty survival tarp with a wool blanket. Then I'll throw some snow on top of the wool blanket just to camouflage it from normal view. Just like that. So now I'll climb under it. So far, there's not much heat being detected, even with the blankets draped over top of me. Eventually it might warm up in there and show through, but for a short-term solution, seems like this would work. Cover that up with some sticks or grass, I'd be even more hidden. So, I'd say that was a success. Maybe not perfect, but worked out pretty good. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.